Yo, top. What's good, guys? Um, so I'm just coming from work. It's around um, seven, eight a.m. I think eight a.m. I think it's already eight. Um, so I'm just coming from work, and bro, I was at work today, man. Um, people were just staring man the staring was a little bit uncomfortable i can't even lie to you uh, it was a little bit uncomfortable for me i you know i was just walking and listening to music and just vibing so what do i want to talk to you guys about today um i want to talk to you guys about how this journey is going to naturally force you to become a loner you are naturally going to become a loner on this journey i think the indians call it the hermit i don't know if, the, if it's the indians but yes there's another term for that the hermit um you are going to become the hermit on this journey um now what do i mean by that let's say you used to be a social like a very social person you know like the social butterfly of your group or wherever it is that you found yourself at that moment um, let's say you were a very social person but then you decided to get on semen retention but before when you were a social person you were not on semen retention and that was why you had like a variety of people to choose from as friends you know because a lot of people were living in that same frequency as you a lot of people were living in the same frequency as um, you when you were you know releasing your seed all the time so it was easier for you to connect with those people you know because um, there was not like a lot of difference per se like there was no a lot of difference between you guys there was nothing to be jealous about about you there was nothing to be fearful about about you you know there was um, you basically had no potential let me just put it like that man you know, your presence did not command respect your presence did not um evoke any feelings in these people you know so they were comfortable being around you they were comfortable playing games you guys were comfortable playing games with each other you were comfortable you know doing all these things simply for the fact that you guys were all vibing on this same frequency you were all um you were all You were all abiding in your negative frequencies you know you were all um, having fun in your negative frequency you were going parties you know you like the same thing these people like but then you decided that okay look this life is no longer fulfilling for me you know i would want to really look for something else now you know i would want something that's going to you probably felt like you know you were not enough at that moment you probably felt like there was something really missing in your life so you decided you know you started searching for yourself you started probably reading books you started doing things you started engaging in sports maybe if you were not social before you started going out more you know and in doing that in looking for yourself somehow somehow you came upon this topic maybe no fap that was how you found it you know because that was how i found it it was the term no fap you know at first i was reading about no fab you know i was looking at the benefits and all that people were saying magnetism you become stronger i was like huh what are you guys crazy man how does just keeping your semen make you strong make you magnetic make you all this man i was like bullshit you know but then at the same time i was just desperate to quit living the type of life i was living back then you know, i was desperate to become the best fashion of myself that's what i'm trying to say so i was like okay i'm going to give this a try so i told you guys my first chick was in i think september 2021 i went 17 days that was my first ever streak 17 days straight man and one thing i noticed although i didn't really understand what was happening at that time but something was very clear to me at that moment was the fact that i was more present in doing whatever it is i was doing you know i become very efficient i became very efficient i was fast how do i say not fast per se i was more consistent let me put it that way you know i was just completing tasks over and over back to back 
I didn't know at that moment that it was because I started retaining my semen. But I knew that something changed in me, you know. But I didn't attribute it to semen retention. I just thought it was maybe because, you know, I'm just, I don't know what it was, man. But back then, I didn't put anything to it. I didn't put any meaning to it. So then I failed. I relapsed, you know. And then I continued binging, 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 binging. For, I think, three months, bro. I could be releasing my seed for, like, in a day like more than three times man. bro i was uh, bro i was bro I, you don't know what i'm telling you guys man i was i was the bottom of the food chain when it comes to releasing semen man i was basically a zombie back then so i would release three or four five times in a day whenever i got into a stressful situation you know and back then i was studying medicine as well so um it was a very very stressful you know i was going to school and school was not even now it was, it was just something else man so whenever i experienced difficulties in class man i'll just go home and release bro just go to the washroom release like a lot man whenever i felt like it i'll just go there and release i did that for the next three months that's after retaining for 17 days you know but then i also found out that bro i wasn't bro it, I was just going deep 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 you know there was no satisfaction the more you go the deeper you go the the, the, the less satisfaction you have so i found it i found out that okay let me do this again then i think i went for five days then i failed then i went for two days i think then i failed then i decided to go for 30 days then I went for 30 days and then something magically happened to me I, I, I kind of found out that I was I started seeking for my own company like I was no longer interested in going out or being around people something in me just wanted me to hide from it everybody i just wanted to hide from everybody man and look man what happened was then people in my past started calling me you know they were calling me chooks chooks come and hang out with us what is happening like you know but in my head i was like bro even i don't know what is happening man but i just i was i just became very nervous being around people you know that was when I understood the fact that I was changing. That was the beginning of the change in my life. You know, I still hung out with these guys because that time, bro, I wasn't taking similar intention serious. I was, it was just, it was just something out of desperateness of no longer being the same person. But I had tried everything, man. I had tried meditating. Meditating was working. I, I think meditating was even actually what led me into this direction, man. You know, I was looking for something that was going to fulfill me in, inwardly. And so I started reading books. Those times I was alone, you know. Those times I decided that I didn't want to be hanging out again. Not as much as before with these people. I started reading books. I read The Power of Now. Um, I read uh, Right Now. Something, something like that. And no more mr nice guy i read those three books during this period man and it totally changed my mentality bro but again i did not attribute whatever it is that i was doing to see my retention back then man i just knew that i wanted to retain because somehow somehow my, it made me feel a little bit good about myself you know i was no longer the so shy secluded young man i was because of lack of confidence but now it was more or less like I was now secluded because I chose to be secluded, you know. And whenever I hang out with people, like I'm also lively, I'm also able to like, you know, be with them and be present with them. So I saw that and I liked it, man. And that was the beginning of my journey, man. And ever since then, man, I've just been on my own. I've just been grinding, man. I've just been like, it's now that semen retention has become a, how do you say, man? A lifestyle it's now a habit you know back then it was more of less like a challenge you know yeah it, yeah it, it was a challenge this 30 days november challenge yes that was it yes that was it then i went that 30 days yes that november challenge i went on it man that no fab 
it was not i didn't even know about semen retention it was called no fab so that was to tell you that i wasn't even into the spiritual side of it but i was just doing it as something that um i saw a lot of people doing per se you know so i i joined and bro look at me now man my life is totally changed complete 360 man looking back to the guy i was bro i was uh, bro, I'm, uh, I'm, bro i don't even know how to say it man totally embarrassed of myself but then when i see videos that i used to take back then on my snapchat now i'm like bro you needed to take those l man to be here those things taught you who you are now so it was never you know you were supposed to be a coma you know you're supposed to also find out semen retention and whatever is going to happen to me in the future is also supposed to happen to me and that is just me accepting my fate and with being a loner, you know, you don't have to explain yourself to anybody anymore why you are no longer partying and all those things, you know. It's just you and your life. And whenever you decide to speak to people, those people appreciate you more because they understand the fact that you are not always out here, you know, seeking for validation and all those things, you know. They understand the fact that if they are spending time with you, they are really spending time with you. So, yes, um... I think there's a term for it, the sig the Sigma male. Um I don't use I don't like using those terms man. But yeah, just for the sake of popularity and all those the Sigma male loner. You kind of develop that archetype when you get on semen retention. And bro, trust me, it's a very good thing when you're able to be by yourself and not feel lonely. And that is what semen retention will do for you, man. Semen retention is going to teach you how to be with yourself and love yourself and love your own company man and in loving your own company man you will find out that you are no longer out there seeking for people's validation man you are just you whatever comes comes whatever goes goes man you can't bro there's no way you can feel lonely when you love yourself man yeah and it's just you against you at this point hello, hello. it's just you against you at this point man and there is never how do I say, man? Nobody can come and take your power away from you because uh, you have decided to love yourself, man. You have decided to uh, care for yourself. You have decided to get to know yourself deep down, you know. And in seeing that there's nothing to be scared of anymore, you find peace. You find peace. And I think that is what everybody is striving for in this life. The reason why people are chasing money and all is just to find peace and freedom. And with semen retention, you become internally free. You become internally free of people's judgments. You know, you no longer care about what people think about you, man. Is that not a very sweet place to be? And you only had to pay a little price. Just do not release your semen anymore. Simple. Don't release your seed anymore. And that's just it, man. But it's a very hard thing to do. That's what you have to understand, man. You know, the sexual energy is a very, it's a very strong force. You know, it controls the whole world. That's one thing you have to understand. The whole world is under the influence of sexual energy. So if you are able to control your sexual energy, you are able to have, like, the whole world. How do I say, man? Not from an egotistical point of view, but the whole world belongs to you now like the powers of the world belongs to you because you have gotten power over yourself so yes don't be afraid of being alone on this journey man embrace it go into it at first it's going to be very disturbing that um you are you are seeking to you know hide yourself and no longer be that social or become distant from people it's a normal thing man don't even fret about it it's uh, it's a normal occurrence it's a normal occurrence so yesterday, bro, I had a, I had a fun time, man, just being by myself. I don't know if I'm going to attach the video to this one, but or maybe in another video. But I had a lot of fun, man, just going around and just asking people questions, man. <laughs> Some of them were looking at me, bro, are you crazy? Because <laughs> people don't usually just, you know, walk up to people and probably give them a compliment, a genuine compliment, you know. Like, I mean, from a man, a man to another man, you know. If you see another man who is buff, I, bro, I, yo, bro, you look good, man. What do you do? 
and that's another thing you're going to notice on this journey you no longer feel intimidated by other people's success because you are just complete within there's bro you no longer seek for anything man that's just it bro money does not have that much uh, meaning to you anymore i mean you need it don't get me wrong but it's no longer that important 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 to you man it's just something that you need to have a easy life kind of but without it, you are still happy you are still full you are still complete you know so yes keep on retaining guys keep on retaining man and if you're new to my channel please do subscribe because your boy needs your subscription i love you guys and do stay safe ciao